Welcome back to the NASCAR 14 Let's Play. I'm right now about to do uh, the the Earl 2 night race at Bristol. But, but it's not just an ordinary race today. There's only one thing I have to say and that is, yeah, we just hit 1,000 views on my YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much. I am very, very humbled and very happy to say thank you guys for 1,000 views on my YouTube channel. You guys watched it a thousand times, and now we're going to keep going and do it for 2,000 views. So without further ado, let's get this show and get this race underway at Bristol. And normally today would be the Earl Toon Night Race, but today I'm going to rename this race the 1,000 Views Night Race at Bristol. For my aunt for saying thank you. For everything you have helped, you have gotten me here to this point. I apologize if I'm going to be on the TV screen. Because so. I need to turn that up a little bit so I can't hear. So I start on the pole. Kevin Harvick starts second. Oh, Matt Kenseth starts third. And Clint Moyer will start fourth. Last time out here at Bristol, I lost the race, finished 13th. All because of Tony Stewart. The question is, can I get my very first win at Bristol? And finally, get that monkey off my back and check off one of my races off the list that I haven't won. We're about to find out in a few short seconds. As the pace car is head down to the turn into the into pit road, Kevin Harvick and I will lead to the green flag. We're underway at Bristol. Wow, I got a really good start as I head down to the front, as I head down to the front. And this is a very short track, so it's going to be a quick race. So, let's try not to make a mistake. I'm going to try not to throw out a yellow flag, so I'm going to try to do my best to... And I got to tell you, this paint job I did for my YouTube is the actual colors of YouTube. So, what do you guys, so how about that? What do you guys think of that, of this paint job, huh? 1,000 views. I can't believe it. All because of you guys. You guys got me here to 1,000 views. Let's keep it going for 2,000 views. Four laps into this race, and I've already checked out on Kevin Harvick and everybody out in the middle of the field and I'm already halfway just about to catch some heavy lap traffic coming to 20 laps to go and this race is going to be a very quick race so don't need to worry about you know doing a long race next the next race will be Atlanta Motor Speedway that means we only have two more weeks left until the playoffs of the chase for the sprint Cup has officially begun so that means everybody will have to try to earn their way in by either Atlanta, which is the next race, or by trying to win it for one last shot is to win at Richmond and bump that driver that's 13th. And right now, Harvick is in the chase, but he must have at least one more win. So he is guaranteed to be in the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series in two weeks, which is the last week, last race of the regular season, and then the final ten race will be a playoffs. The drivers that are in the chase will participate. The drivers from from 13th on back will only battle for a 12th place finish, for a 13th place finish in the chase for the Sprint Cup. So right now, I'm already locked into the chase. Sorry, I got into the 40 car by accident. So all I have to do, eat, I would love to win. And now we got a yellow flag already, and Joe Nemechek has just would not let up, and he got into the back bump, into the right left rear side of my race car, and the yellow has waved here at Bristol. Obviously... Nemechek was trying to stay on the lead lap. He got into me, and that's the result. So yellow flag has waved. If Harvick finishes where he is right now, he might have a shot to make it into the chase. Joe Nemechek brings out the first yellow flag of the day. 
and will we see any takers on pit road here today? Nope. Nobody's not coming in. Yeah, I don't think everyone should pit because if you pit like last time, which was last week, which was the last time I was at Bristol, I finished 13th. Let's not have that same re history repeat itself for my 1,000 views. Green flag, we're back under Wayson at Bristol. Jimmy Johnson running in second. Kevin Harvick is now will restart fourth. And Tony Stewart. Where did he come from? He needs a win. He wants to win here as well. And remember, Tony Stewart also needs a win so he can lock himself in. He's battling with his teammate Kevin Harvick for second. And Tony Stewart trying to clear him, but Harvick's going to take that spot. Here comes the closer, Kevin Harvick. We'll be coming to 12, 12 laps to go at Bristol. I'm trying to do, my car is already getting tight, but I don't really don't care. Right now, all I care about is trying to win, and Tony Stewart has finally taken second place from his teammate, but here comes Harvick underneath him again. When they come, when I come back around, it'll be 10 laps to go, and these laps will go really quick, so you don't have much time. You have no time to lollygag. 10 to go at Bristol. Possibly some people may not be able to want to pit because no one came in on pit onto the pit onto pit road. Everybody on everyone pretty much from the front stayed out. Everyone on back probably came in for some fresh rubber, but unfortunately, the three drivers that are 41st, 42nd, 43rd, they have just lost the pack, and they're about to half a lap down. About to, they're now about a straightaway from going a lap down as we're coming to eight laps to go at Bristol. And while this is all going on, Kevin Harvick is starting to close the gap just a tiny bit. So he might need a win, so he might win this race. But he's got he's got one more week left. And then Richmond will have to win by by making into the chase by winning at Bristol. Coming to the next the next flag. Here we come to six laps to go. And the only thing I want to see after when I hit the 25th lap is the white flag, not the yellow. When I come back around, there'll be five laps to go at Bristol. Five to go. My car may, my tires might be warning out, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. All matters is I'm going to try to hold on and win here. And I'm about to hit Joe Nemechek again. Who brought out the first yellow flag of the race so far as we're coming to four to go. Four laps to go will be three to go this time, and now traffic might come into play as we're heading down to the back stretch and now head to turn three. Three to go. If Harvick stays where he is, he will gain more points, so he might be in the chase for the sprint cup if he gets a second place finish tonight. But that means he's only got two more shots to at least get one win. He's already got a win, I believe. Back at last timeout, which is at Michigan, by that controversial call. After trying to win for Jenna Wolf for her 12,000 views on her Google Plus uh, uh, profile. And here I come, behind Danica Patrick, and the white flag is out. Final lap at Bristol. Can I get that monkey off my back and get my first win at Bristol? It looks like I'm going to do it. And more importantly, I'm going to win and celebrate a thousand views as well. I win my first win, my first race at Bristol, and happen. Thank you, 1,000 views on my YouTube channel. Thank you, guys. So 1,000 views on my YouTube, and today I bring home the paint. Hey, this page out to Victory Lane, and my first win at Bristol. After having a horrible finish, didn't get the footage. I have a little scratch, but it really doesn't really matter. I don't care. I got my first win at Bristol, but more importantly, I got my 15th win of the year.
And not only did I win, I led every lap. Harvick ended up finishing second. But it really doesn't matter because now Harvick is going to be in the chase for the time being with only two more races left before the regular season is over. I won't be able to do an entire, uh, vic I'm going to do a victory lap since this race was pretty quick. As an Alan Kowicki style to do a victory lap in from the other side, from the other direction, the Polish victory lap. Not only did I get my first win, but now I get to finally have two wins at our short track race. And there's only one short track race in the chase for the Sprint Cup, and that is Martinsville coming up in the chase for the Sprint Cup. So that's what I'm going for. I want to win at least one more one more short track race, and then it's all half mile ovals, pretty much. As I celebrate a thousand views on my YouTube channel, this is a thousand a thousand ways. This is. A lot of thousand reasons why I'm celebrating. When I first started uh, doing these videos on YouTube, I never thought this day would finally come. I started my very first YouTube video over a year ago with only one view. And now 999 views later, I get my thousand views and I finally get the job done. So thank you guys. So a quick result. No, no, Denny Hamlin ended up finishing and passing Harvick, so he will finish second. Harvick finishes third, Newman fourth, and Jeff Gordon fifth. The drivers that are still have a shot in the chase, and there you can see I pretty much was the dominator. I led every lap. But, but the season is not over yet. We still got two more weeks before the chase for the Spring Cup will begin. So next week is, so the next time will be Atlanta Motor Speedway. And then the following week will be the last, there's two more night races. The Atlanta Motor Speedway race, and the next one will be, will be the one at Richmond, which will be the last race of the regular season, and then the chase for the Spring Cup will begin. There's my 15th win. I'm already locked in, so even if I win another one, it doesn't really matter, pretty much. I just got this victory, I pretty much got the, the, a position locked in. That means I think Jimmy Johnson and I think Junior is locked in. I believe with that, with Johnson now locked in, that means the other drivers, the other ten drivers, will gonna have to rate, will have to have a good strong run. And because of Harvick, he actually hasn't gained anything. But he's now only 10 points inside the top 10. Greg Biffle is still in the chase for the Sprint Cup by 29 points. So that's a good cushion, but that's gonna, that might change when we head to Atlanta the next time on NASCAR 14 Let's Play. That means Martin Truex Jr. and Kurt Busch are both out by with a tie. And so far, and the most will go to Kurt Busch, he would be in 13 13th because of him getting top tens more top tens than anybody but unfortunately they but well, either way they are going to be out and for austin dillon who did win a race and so did ricky stenhouse and trevor bain they're still not in the chase they need to get one more win so they can have a shot of making it for the chase with a sprint cup but that's going to have to wait until next time. Well, thank you guys so much. And once again, thank you guys for 1,000 views. Now, that is one paint job I got. I have another paint job coming up. It will be the reverse color that will be raced the next time at Atlantis Motor Speedway. So thank you guys for 1,000 views. And thank you guys for that inc for an incredible, incredible, for tuning in for, for over 1,000 views. And let's go for 2,000. So thank you guys for watching. Like I, like I always say, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, comment on the video below, and also make sure you follow me on my social media on Facebook and on Instagram. And I forgot, and I realized I said this wrong, it's Spotify. Follow me and check out some of my music that I listen to. So thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.